So the first phase of unlocking India would of course come into effect from today and a continuous and a cautious reopening is what India is looking forward to. The first phase allows for religious places, hotels, restaurants and shopping malls to reopen for what is being described as a careful, calibrated reopening. Now the centre has issued standard operating procedures for places that are being reopened according to the standard operating procedures for religious places, entrances will be required to have mandatory hand hygiene, such as sanitizer, dispenser and thermal screening provisions. Only asymptomatic people will be allowed inside the premises and people who enter should wear face masks and face covering. There will be a staggering of visitors that needs to be done. Shoes and footwear will have to be taken off inside their own vehicles. The specific markings may be made with sufficient distance to manage the queue and also ensure social distancing in the premises. Preferably separate entry and exit points will have to be organised. Touching of statues, idols, holy books, etc. will not be allowed. Common prayer mats will be avoided. Devotees should bring their own prayer mat and piece of cloth which they can then take back. No physical offerings such as prasad or distribution or a sprinkling of holy water etc. will be allowed inside religious places. Now for hotels starting their operations outside of containment zones from today, the standard operating procedure states that adequate manpower shall be deployed by hotel management for ensuring social distancing norms. Now all employees who are at high risk, that is older employees, pregnant employees and employees who have underlying medical conditions should take extra precautions. They should preferably not be exposed to any frontline work requiring direct contact with the public. While large gatherings, congregations still remain prohibited, a proper disinfection of steering, door handles, keys, etc. of vehicles should be taken up. Separate entry and exit for guests, staff and goods and supplies should be organised. The number of people in the elevators will be restricted, duly maintaining social distancing norms. Now, preparing to reopen today, restaurants have also redesigned their spaces and have reduced their capacities to as low as 50 to even some in some places 30 percent. Restaurants are reducing the number of tables and are placing them further apart. Now, dine-ins in both restaurants and also in food courts and malls will be permitted with just about 50 percent of the seating capacity. Takeaways will be encouraged instead of dine-ins. Disposable menus have been advised to be used. Disposable paper napkins instead of cloth napkins have been encouraged and also contactless mode of ordering is to be followed. Along with digital mode of payment, cleaning and regular disinfection of frequently touched surfaces will also have to be done. So even as Asia's third largest economy is beginning its first phase of unwinding the stay-at-home restrictions, India's burgeoning coronavirus cases has surpassed that of Spain's tally. And now, India ranks as the fifth most affected nation in terms of the infections, according to John Hopkins University. While social distancing will be India's biggest post-lockdown challenge, what remains to be seen is whether this shift in strategy by India will bring a turnaround and will flatten the right curve.